Every year nearly 12 lakh students join engineering with many dreams of getting a job taking care of their family and to lead a happy life but in that 80% of the students are unemployed Job creation will be the biggest challenge for Indian policy makers as 36% students are yet to be placed. We're talking about the best engineering college in India. Millions of young Indians face the risk of unemployment. According to analysts, India needs to create at least 70 million new jobs over the next 10 years. My father said job, So the dreams of 10 lakh students are unfulfilled and it will definitely affect their families and also the economy of the country. In that 90% of the students are remained unemployed, people are roaming around the companies which has no vacancies with certificates which has no value and some working for small and low level jobs compared to their capabilities and intelligence and some are staying in their home with regret of not getting a job. And the question arises whether unemployment is increasing rapidly either because of students or teachers or the colleges or the education system itself and everyone will blame just students for not getting job but the fact is that students are very very creative and i will show the examples and basically this rack was given by college to keep our necessities but i have been using it as a book rack and this is the soft light which i used for youtube videos and this is also the rim light which i have been using and which i made it by myself to increase the height of the table and this is just one thing in my studio and you can observe many things in my college itself and you can think about the innovations in the nation wide and there are so many innovative students in these colleges but this innovation was being decreased by these colleges so called universities so by this we can get to know that students are very very innovative and the question is if the students are very innovative then why unemployment is increasing in order to know that answer you should know what actually happens in the four years of engineering so without you investing one second let's know the dark reality of Engineering colleges. As a coin has two sides, engineering colleges also have two sides negative side and the positive side. And the first one is negative side. See, I basically hate three things about engineering colleges. First one is colleges and its management. See, if you observe that every MBBS college is situated beside an hospital, so the things which was learned by the students will be practically implemented in the hospital itself. But whereas engineering, there will be no practical knowledge. 80% of the engineering colleges were located in the forest without any company beside so it. So basically there is no facilities to improve the practical knowledge and they will say like there were labs to improve practical knowledge but the fact is that students don't even know why they are doing the labs because they will blindly do the experiment. Just ignore the practical knowledge. If you observe the syllabus of these colleges, the syllabus is outdated. Everything was running through softwares and internet. These colleges will teach you the outdated formulas and equations which doesn't even help the student in their professional career. So if he or she is continuously learning only derivations for four years and when will they learn the new skill? When will they learn the skills which is helpful to get a job? And that is the main reason no one is getting job. For the four years you are just told the derivations. They are not going to teach the softwares and skills which needed to get a job they only teach you the derivations sorry the outdated derivations and these classes and exams are bullshit and everyone see like you can learn more things in a class but the fact is that 80 percent of the students will attend classes only for attendance and that's it they won't attend classes to gain the knowledge because students are also not interested and the main reason is that faculty will teach things which was there in the book they will just try to complete the syllabus and that they, they don't even care whether the students are understanding or not they'll just complete the syllabus that's it and that is the main reason students will lose interest on study because everything you can learn on youtube then what is the reason of attending the classes i remember a quote in karate kid which says like there will be no bad student there is only a bad teacher no such thing uh, bad student only bad teacher improve the quality of faculty so that is why they are constantly guiding students just to prepare for gate or something else they don't even teach the practical and they didn't even think about the practical knowledge they only see the grades 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 that's it and also 95 percent of the engineering students only prepare for their exam just before night one night 
batting and the problem there is that the college exam is not well set up it is theory and rot learning based but needs to be changed everyone is studying just to clear the exam because even if you get good grades it wasn't enough to get a job right and i can proudly and very sadly say that in the entire 4 years i learned zero from attending classes and i learned everything on youtube through life experiences and the second one is engineering life if you observe the life of the students in engineering college it was terrible because students are always pressured because of these exams assignments classes and all these bullshit and every student will believe that college is just for enjoyment and this opinion was created by these movies but the fact is that in engineering it wasn't like movies you will be constantly pressured with these classes assignment records labs and all this bullshit student will suffer a lot in this pressures with these pressures students are always addicted to the social media most of the students are wasting a lot of time on social media playing games movies and chit chatting and all these distractions and only few people are concentrated on their career and even if they choose their career they are very less likely like in the rat race of course these are necessary but this should be a part of our life but for engineering students these are habits and they'll just ignore their sleep they'll sleep at 12 am 1 am 4 am and they'll completely ignore their physical health there will be no exercise there will be no meditation there is no proper diet they'll be consuming a lot of junk food and no one is guiding them to improve their health if the lifestyle of the students were not good then how can they do the best things so the lifestyle of the students has to be changed by the college but colleges don't even care so they only care about admission they don't even care about the lifestyle of the students so these engineering colleges were failing to create a developing environment if you observe the iits in the iits the environment is so good that every student was trying to pursue their career but whereas in tier 2 and tier 3 colleges the environment is worst see the unemployment in india was rapidly increasing and the question arises why the unemployment is increasing either because of students or the faculty or the parents or the system itself these are all maybe the reasons but the actual truth is belief the belief which people hold students will believe that college is just for enjoyment because of these movies and etc and faculty will believe that if a student will get good marks it's enough and parents will believe that if they join their student in engineering colleges their life would be set and colleges will believe that if they give proper faculty and proper lab equipment everything will be set and the government will believe that if they provide proper scholarship everything will be set and everything will be great but the fact is it doesn't work because everything in this system is messed because these people are believing the things which was old outdated because marks aren't enough labs aren't enough skills aren't enough so these beliefs are outdated and it's time to change the belief of these people if you observe that if these engineering colleges are working perfectly then why would the unemployment will increase so if the unemployment is increasing there is something wrong with these colleges and that is the lifestyle and the syllabus and the, all these things and the mindset of the students were terrible because everyone is constantly trying to get a job not to give a job everyone is trying to get a job and this is not our fault our education system has been told that you have to get a job and you cannot give a job you have to get a job and this mindset has to be changed and also every engineering student will think in terms of gate upsc and all these entrance examination and government jobs and no one is trying to learn new skills if you observe that the vacancies on these platforms are very less and the amount of people who are applying or studying were lakhs and lakhs but the vacancies are 100 or 1000 or even 10000 20000 that's it So if 20000 people are getting job what about the remaining lakhs and lakhs of people because they have been studying only for UPSC and gate they are not learning any new skills so what is the future of them you can easily you a job or get a job or you can start your own companies you can think in terms of entrepreneurship because everyone is trying to get job you have to think to give jobs and this job mindset has to be changed everyone is capable of giving job but most of the students are just choosing to get a job and most probably a government job and this is the main reason the vacancies are less but the applied students were more and i'm very proud to be an engineering student because the positive side of an engineering was incredible because you will have 4 years of freedom you can do anything you want you can follow your passion you can follow your career you can you build your career you can build a startup you can learn a new skill you can do anything you want because no one is going to judge you no one is going to stop you no one is going to care about you so you can do anything you want so these four years will be the best four years of your life until or unless you 
use it and there are so many teachers who will teach the practical knowledge and also there are so many students who are constantly improving them having a good lifestyle eating good and also preparing for exams and also having a great lifestyle and learning new skills constantly improving themselves and this side of the engineering are completely amazing they don't even care about the society they don't even care about the mindset they don't even care about the distractions so the only thing they care is their career that's it and this side is the best side of engineering so you can try anything in the world in these four years no one is going to judge you no one is going to stop you no one will even care about you so these four years is a precious time to do whatever you want so and right now i am trying this youtube if it works it was fantastic if it doesn't it won't so you'll get a lot of time i can do anything you want engineering gives you a freedom to do anything in four years probably good and the main intention of this video is not to blame anyone the main intention is just to say the hard reality of engineering and everyone has their own mistake teaching only formulas is the mistake of a teacher addicted to social media is the mistake of student only thinking in terms of admission is the mistake of the colleges and only providing scholarship for the students is the mistake of the government so everyone has their own mistake so it's our responsibility to correct our own mistakes so if you are a teacher try to teach the practical things to the students if you are a parent give the freedom for your kids to do what they want and if you are a college try to improve the practical knowledge in the college and provide more facilities for the students and if you are a student constantly improve your mindset constantly improve your lifestyle constantly improve your skills so you have to focus more on your career not the enjoyment because if you enjoy for four years you have to work out for next 40 years but if you work hard for these four years will enjoy your next 40 years and this is my promise so if you are an engineer if you are wasting your time you have to change right now hope everyone accept their mistakes and they will change the system system is not something else system is the people so if the people changes then automatically the system changes so that's all for this video until then it's your human krishna signing off Bye.